So you spend four years being top three, giving your best 120% every day, no fails, ensuring to get your scholarship, getting along with your professors, ensuring to hand out all the homeworks, all the projects, and you get the top GPA. Yet, you see that someone that was mediocre in university gets a even better job than you do. Does this story rings any bells? The next question then arises, is having a high GPA still worth it in 2022? Coming up next! <laughs> Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe guys. Remember that in this channel, we talk about chemical and process engineering for both the students and professionals. So you want to ensure to get all my latest videos, don't forget to click on the notification bell right here. Now, GPA is something that really passions me because it is essentially a number that qualifies or gives a score or gives an evaluation of your overall performance, meaning that all that you have been doing is being qualified or quantified. That's the awesome thing on that. And that's at the same time, not so great because there's a lot of things that cannot be quantified that are very important to make a final decision. So that's why I really consider the GPA just the cover of a book. So many times you will see a great cover, you love it, and then you read the book and it's totally trash. And vice versa, you see a not so nice book, but your friend really recommended it to you, and it's kind of trashy and the outside, the cover is not so appealing, but you finish the book and you are just in awe. It's awesome and you can't believe that. And of course, there is a certain percentage of great covers, great content, and shitty covers trash content. Either way, we know that making decisions only or solely based in a single factor such as GPA, or in this case, a cover, is not good enough. But at the same time, guys, we know that we don't have that much time to make a decision on that book. We cannot read the whole book. We can maybe check the chapters, make some pages, read some paragraphs, but ultimately, the decision is mostly based on the cover. So what I'm going to be talking about is, as you can imagine, GPA. But what I want to do is to try to tropicalize this for the chemical engineer. Because I know there's a lot of videos out there talking about the importance of GPA, uh, maybe for computer science, maybe for certain type of engineering, or maybe other type of subjects. But what I want to talk about is mostly for the chemical engineer. And yes, we know that chemical engineering is kind of special, so that's why I really, really wanted to do this video. I have good news, bad news, and general information for you guys. So let's get started. So let's get started with the dark side, which will be why I am in favor of having a high GPA. So I will start with my personal story first. So first things first, the disclaimer, I did have a high GPA. I had something equivalent to 3.78. I'm not quite sure on the GPA scale, but in the 100 scale, it's 94 out of 100. So according to this table, I see that in GPA is something between 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, which is not a perfectly high, but it's good enough. I think it's good, and of course, I'm proud of that number. Of course, it could be better, yes, but it's something that I need to talk with you in the following sections. But for now, I really want to tell you guys about my story. When I went out of graduation, I was really encouraged and I actually felt it that I was worth it. So I was looking for the best jobs. I wouldn't settle for the first job or the first thing I saw or maybe something that I wasn't sure. So I did know that my GPA was good enough. I actually believed that my effort is worth something. Although it may be true or not, that's up to the recruiters, that's up to the job market. But to me, honestly, I was feeling confident. So that will be my very first recommendation. If you can get a high GPA, if you can work for that, do it. The second point will be, of course, it's always better to have a high GPA versus a average GPA or even worse, a low GPA. Why? Because nowadays there's a lot of people applying for a job and the mere essence of having GPA, sometimes there are some machines or there's some filters or there's people just willing to get interviews with people that had certain amount of GPA. So that's why it's great to have a high GPA or at least a average or above average, something between 3.5, 3.6 will be great. I will recommend it. I've also heard the other side, which of course, if you have a very, very high GPA, they will not hire you or they will not get you an interview because they will assume that you are like kind of nerd or like a library rat or something like that, that you don't know how to socialize or make team, which of course could be the case, but at least 
having something in between 3.5 to 3.78 will be a good safe bet. Not saying that 4.0 is not good enough, but sometimes guys remember that recruiters are actual people. They will maybe feel frightened or not so confident to have an interview with someone that had a GPA of 3.9, 4.0 or so. In my opinion, it's way better to land that interview guys. Once that you are there in that room with the interviewee, that's when you can make your own magic. But that's, once again, when you can actually make your magic. When you're handing out resumes or when you're writing or applying online, it's kind of hard to make something else than a written file and a number. So once you're there, you have the opportunity to show them, tell them why you had a high GPA. Number one, you're disciplined. Number two, you like to work. Number three, maybe you had a scholarship or something that required you to have a high GPA. And that means that you were committed towards excellence. Or maybe you're just showing that you can do it without problem. Either way, you need to sell that point in the interview. Having a high GPA will also ensure you to get a good internship or a nice co-op, which later will typically have a very huge role in getting a actual job. So this is very important guys, because I hear a lot that people is not getting a job and then you ask, why are you not getting a job? Let me see your resume. You have a low GPA, you don't have extracurriculars, you have no experience, no internships, no co-ops. And why is that? Because you had a low GPA, that's why you couldn't get that internship or that co-op. So it's kind of like a vicious cycle that if you don't get uh, the first things first correctly, then the second step, the third step and final steps will be like a very chaotic way to solve. Another point to consider that I read in Reddit is that actually the GPA is the only thing in which the recruiter can make a decision. So imagine you hire someone, it's middle to average GPA and they perform quite bad. Imagine that they're not going on time, they're having problems with the tasks they're assigned, they are having problems with people. Well, then we'll go to the recruiter and ask, why did you even consider that person with that GPA? The mere number says that he is not responsible. In the other hand, imagine that you have a high GPA and you have the same attitude. You don't go on time, you have problems with your boss, you don't are filling the task on time, and people will be wondering why is this going on with this guy? It's kind of of a surprise because the interview was great, he has a nice GPA, why is he suddenly acting like this? It will be more like a surprise, and if you're the recruiter or the boss that actually had the last word on the recruitment, it will be easier to have an excuse for that. And finally guys, one of the most important things is GPA is not all what matters. Actually, I will say that there's a lot of things going on in university. First thing first, the university experience is the best of all. If you're going to sacrifice your GPA, it gotta be because of something worth it. Either life experiences, either connections, networking, maybe you're into certain type of hobbies, or maybe you're into certain type of groups, or maybe you are working in something extra in a project, that must be worth it. Otherwise, ensure to have your high GPA. But enough of dark sides on having a high GPA because I know that most likely you may not have a GPA that is that proud to be or to show off. Number one will be, of course, companies know that there's a lot of people that is actually worth it. A lot of responsible people, disciplined people, or people that will have other type of skill sets that are required in other type of jobs that will be lost if they will simply filter by high GPA. There's a lot of people, for instance, a lot of people having scholarships from sports or scholarships from music or dancing or arts, something like that. Or maybe they started a side hustle or a side business, or maybe they are just simply charming. Whatever the reason this may be, the companies know about this. Hence, no filter on 3.8, 3.9, 4.0 GPAs. They know that aiming maybe between 3.0, 3.2, or maybe 3.5 is a safe bet still. Besides, they still have the interview processes and all of that. Second point is that GPA doesn't matter almost at all for the second job. So once you land your first job, hopefully it was a great one, but you still have opportunities to change from jobs. And this is key and fundamental guys, because in the next jobs, you will be most likely asked on what were you doing on your first job, or maybe a little bit on your background in the university, but GPA is almost not so important. Actually, I would say not that important at all. They would rather have some references from your boss or maybe your colleagues on how you're doing on your work, what do you do, what are your areas of expertise, and so on, rather than just check that number. So that's great news if you have a low GPA but landed a maybe okay job. When you change of jobs, that's your golden opportunity. 
So actually I prepared this graph guys on the importance of GPA as time passes by and yes as you can imagine as more time passes by no one actually gives a single on your GPA guys so relax. And last but not least guys I actually encourage you not to focus solely on your GPA. There's a lot of things that will enrich your profile as a chemical engineer. I see a lot of people of course I remember myself just focusing on getting high scores, high grades being uh, top of the uh, group or class and I really think I missed some things if I could go back I will definitely ensure to do more networking I will definitely ensure to do more sports although I did a lot of sports but I will focus on doing more sports I will focus a lot on going to parties enjoying more being more relaxed and of course having a high GPA maybe if I will uh, decrease 0.1 or 0.2 I will still not regret if my life experiences are worth it just a little tip from uncle chemical engineering guys for you so that's it guys this is my take on the GPA I know that maybe you didn't expect me to be that raw or maybe paying that much attention into actually having a high GPA but I cannot say for sure guys because I did in fact have a high GPA maybe if I had a low GPA and I actually landed a great job I will tell you no you don't need to do anything you just need to go by and be mediocre in life do all what you want and eventually life is going to solve for yourself that's not me guys I really think that chemical engineers but not only chemical engineers but overall humans or persons need to work towards excellence strive for it make their best ensure that they are showing that they are giving all their best I really think that having excellence as a branding is a great way to show in life that you are actually striving towards excellence for instance we all know that person that's always on time we all know that person that always will volunteer we all know that person that will make the actual team and make it work so actually there's another word for them and it's called leaders so yes i'm telling you that as a chemical engineer you have the duty to become a leader and i really know that this takes a lot of effort maybe sleepless nights maybe not going out to parties maybe missing out certain uh, movies maybe missing out even in relationships maybe uh, not going always with friends or so but excellence is something very important in our lives either way guys in the end what you want to end up is with a great tool set or toolkit that will make your life easier I really think that the GPA is kind of like an insurance so you don't want to use it but if you need to use it well there it is but enough of GPAs and excellence guys that's my take I know this may be a little bit passionate for me but what do you think about this guys uh, especially if you're students and especially guys if you're recent graduates and of course engineers that have been graduated maybe more than five years let us know what are your thoughts on having a high GPA is it really important or if you have a low GPA or maybe average GPA do you really regret all your experiences or would you go back and maybe get a higher GPA or I don't know let us know in the comment section all your ideas or your thoughts so we can start a great discussion on GPA as chemical engineers on my behalf that will be it guys I'll see you in the next video